it's dull and rainy today and a few weeks ago I'd have probably got up in the morning and thought oh it's raining again but after about three weeks of sunshine and us uh, gradually emptying our water tanks um, watering things like the conservatory here and some of the things we've been planting um, I very much got up thinking hooray it's raining and so is this idea that when we're looking at something and we're seeing it as a problem it's all to do with our perspective really and that we need to be thinking at everything that you know what is the gift in everything and looking for the gift in everything and of course that can be quite difficult when big things are happening at the moment of course there's the COVID-19 thing going on and people are dying and it can be difficult particularly if you're in the middle of that to really see the gifts in that but also we are starting to see some great qualities of humanity and community and so on coming out of that. On a smaller scale <laughs> in the greenhouse. Um, I could look at this, uh, so this is perhaps what you don't normally see when you think of radish. And so I planted these in the autumn, hoping to get a radish crop, but the conditions in the greenhouse, um, not really ideal for making radishes. Um, it's a bit too warm and it wasn't quite enough light. And so all they've done instead is just make big plants, <laughs> just grown into big plants. And, um, and they've flowered, which of course all plants flower, that's part of their life cycle. But they come in here now in the mornings uh, for the last few weeks and just this heady aroma. It's just this beautiful, beautiful scent, which reminds me a little bit of jasmine actually. And we tend to grow plants like jasmine for the smell, but um, most of us don't think of growing radishes <laughs> for the scent, but they're absolutely beautiful. And what these will also go on to do, once they've flowered, they will make pods. And uh, whereas if you get a little radish root and you eat it, it's gone in one go. Whereas if you allow a plant to flower and make pods, they're starting to do it here, look, these um, little pods will become bigger and fleshier. And there's a period before they get too woody, where they're crisp and they're juicy and they taste a radish and you can put them in salads and they're fantastic. So. Um, I've looked at this very much as a happy accident, a serendipity, and uh, really enjoying the scent and the fact that, you know, it could be very easy, could have been easy for me a few weeks ago to think, oh, they're getting very big. I started eating the leaves because you can also eat radish leaves and they're very nutritious. In fact, they're better than eating the root itself, just not quite as peppery. And uh, I could have thought, well, they're taking up a lot of space and spring is a time when... <laughs> There's a lot of things going on in the greenhouse and space is at a premium, so uh, I could have just hoiked them out. But um, I stayed with it and I thought, well, they will flower and flowers, flowers are nice and they'll attract pollinators in and so on. And actually, I've been treated to this fantastic <laughs> display. And every time I come in here, it's just fantastic. So. Uh, they're very much worth their space and it's worth remembering, even if we can't see it in the moment, that what are the gifts in this situation? Um, what are the good things that will come out of this rather than just seeing the bad?